Welcome back guys to part four of the tutorial of creating a smoky creepy logo. So in the last tutorial we added smoke onto our text and we created a backdrop for to light up the text a little bit. So the next thing we want to do is create our extra smoke that goes over top of the text and that's going to be pretty easy. We're just going to copy the old smoke that we had. So twirl these down. And let's see. We'll just we'll copy them all for now. Go up to edit copy. We're going to go back to our main comp and create a new layer. A solid and it's going to be uh, smoke across. Make it like I'm just going to make it gray. I, it doesn't really matter since we're just putting on the fractal and everything. Just using it for like color reference where we can see these little color box. So let's go into our effects controls panel and click on it and edit paste. And now we've got our smoke there. So the thing that we really need to just change is our evolution here on our smoke to get a different type of smoke. Otherwise, it's going to be the same exact thing as the smoke that's in our text. And you won't be able to tell the difference between the text smoke and it's just going to look shoddy and crappy basically. So let's twirl down these. We don't need those. And we're just going to start by pressing U on the smoke across to reveal our animated properties. And we can see that evolution is down here. Make sure you're on the keyframe that evolution is on. And you know that you're on the keyframe when this, is, uh, when this uh, diamond here is yellow. So let's change this to something like 3. And then we'll change the last one here to something like four. Now we're going to have different looking smoke. Looking cool. Now I found that having the blue color on this one put a little too much blue for my taste so I'm just gonna delete out the hue saturation and leave it as the white smoke there it are it, it looks kind of blue already in in mine anyway it gives it a, a little more color different kind of color than just being everything all blue so we have that and let's go back into our project here. Need to move this uh, behind underneath the smoke title. I'm going to go on this and I'm, I'm going to copy this mask here. Edit, copy, and I'm going to paste it. Edit, paste. So there we have our smoke just going across. I don't want the mask feather on there as much. Oh, it doesn't have a mask feather. That's what I want on there. Let's feather it out a little. There we go. It's, it's across now. Let's feather this out even more because it's kind of blocking the text. There we go. Now I'm going to change. I think I'm going to change the behind mask to be a little more in the center here.
things. Not not so much off screen and just more centered around the new Boston here. Just make it so it's not all the way around it either. So how about that? That way it doesn't look like it's just going off screen and looking weird. Now if yours is covering up too much of your text, you might want to put the opacity down a little. So it doesn't overtake your text. We're going to make the text pop out anyways, so maybe after we're done with that we can put the opacity back up to 100. We'll see how it turns out. So I'm going to conclude this part. We learned how to put the smoke on top. It was fairly easy. Made a little um, correction to the behind here and we just made the mask a little shorter and not going off the screen because it didn't really make sense to have it going off the screen. So I'll see you guys in the next part where we're going to go over making the text do come out off the screen a little more and we're going to make it so it's like the edges are growing and just make it look a lot better so you can see it a lot better. So look forward to seeing you guys at the next tutorial and I'll see you guys there, obviously. <laughs> see you later. Bye.